Ini kan sekarang.
projected in this wall, inside this space. Also, I want to kindly ask you if you can to stay for the whole concert because people uh, coming and going and disturbing the energy of the space. And uh, if you want to leave, however, somewhere in the middle, you will be asked to give us some feedback in order for us to learn from you and continue what we're doing. How long does it last? Sorry? How long does it last? It's one hour. Until 8 o'clock. So now uh, this team So now this team over here has to make a small circle over here and read this this, paper, this phrase we have wrote uh, under the score and give us some feedback. You have five minutes and uh, you're gonna give the feedback to the two performers that they're gonna stand here, Eleni and uh, Daphne. So you make a team here and you read this. You take this, you discuss it, and then you give feedback to these two girls. And this team over here has to read this and give us some feedback after discussing it with the others after five minutes. This, uh, not the score, but this phrase.
Are, are we free to choose whatever we want or not? No, we, no, we are not. No, of course we are not, because we are social beings. Yeah. We are social beings, so we are not really yeah. free in an absolute sense, of course. I'm free. You're free. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What we have done, actually, is that we gave you two different texts that uh, imply in one team some friendly words, they, they have some friendly signifiers, and in the other team some aggressive ones. And the idea was which team is, gonna, is going to interrupt first. And the team who had the, the aggressive words actually interrupted first the two, the two performers that they were speaking between each other. Uh, 
And, and we, we decided that we liked our group so much okay. that we didn't need to, to, to break out. So yeah. we, we were talking to you. need you. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I love all the rationalizations of on, uh, on that subject. Uh, I would like to hear all of them. aggressive sentence break the rule first. It was our first. Ah, so <laughs> that doesn't mean anything because maybe it could have been the contrary. The, the question is, but maybe it? not. Yeah, because the energy of the group could depend on someone, on one person. Maybe one person could have break it. The, the circle, even if it was not uh, from this group or the other group. So. It's going to be very difficult to have conclusions and uh, connect it to the aggressive No? Okay. You're, you're not answering. <laughs> you're not answering. You're not participating in this change. Yes, by the answer. But you are part of it. <laughs> <laughs> We don't understand. Sometimes you are coming and saying, and sometimes stop us, and uh, you are a big part of the world. Sometimes when we come and ask, you're No, it's an ask. It's, it's ask another question. Yeah. But I also don't forget from from my part of the group, like the South African democracy. In a way, what they do in this day is they try to to bring us to South African parts of prophecy, and that's not very. Interesting in a way. Mm -hmm. Actually, for me, it was a kind, of, to be honest, to be a bit boring because that's what I um, suspected them to do. Mm -hmm. I su suspect them to do that they wanted to try to manipulate what they call manipulation. I wouldn't call that manipulation, but what they call manipulation, and they tried to do this, and they did a kind of a social experiment in a way, and they tried to to see how this social experiment works. So in a way. Um, is what they want us to show is that you can't escape and such a, and, um, escape this situation even if you wanted to. So this is why they told us, oh no, you are not allowed to leave the, to leave the room because um, it would be unkind to us. And so it is uh, not very kind to, to break a rule I didn't hear before. I didn't hear the rule that we shouldn't talk to them. I don't know whether you remember it, but I, but I did, did not. So. Um, what, what we are doing here is a self-fulfilling prophecy, being part of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Prophecy, from my kind of view, is uh, kind of boring. So this is... And this is kind of aggressive. <laughs> no, you are not allowed to do that. 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 You are very unkind. <laughs> This behind me. Perhaps I should show you your concept. Bigger? Do you need a help? No, not at the moment. No, I don't feel it. I'm comfortable or I don't feel any aggressivity. It's an ex experience on this. I think tomorrow it will be interesting to see the movie, to see how we react and uh, you know go to each other. And, uh, no, I think it's. A, I never did an experience actually like this, so it's interesting. First time, interesting. I'd love to see it with a bit of distance tomorrow. That movie. Maybe we'll send you a link. <laughs> yeah, perhaps you're right. Yeah. Is it possible to send a link? Of the it's movie? online. Ah. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so who's a musician here? Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are a very musician. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Did you know this, uh, this place? Yeah. And your first time? This. In the conservatory? No, I did not. So this is very good. Okay, since you are a musician, could you help us to interpret this? Yes, because I think that, for instance, when you're talking about the self-fulfilling uh, prophecy, um, I was uh, reminded of some statements that are on this page. Prepare the audience with concepts, questions and movements as a way to explore the dissonance that exists between the individual narcissism that capitalism promotes and our social capacity between how we conceive ourselves as free individuals with agency and the way that we are socially determined by capitalist relations, technology, and ideology. And so I was thinking, well, one would be socially determined under other social forms as well, other than capitalist ones. And so I thought it was interesting. Yes, you know, we are um, positioned within a capitalist system standing in Greece. But I'm thinking how this expands as a philosophical statement, and it seems incomplete. <clears throat> so that would be my musical interpretation of this paragraph. <clears throat> but I'm starting to lose my voice. <coughs> because there's no air in this room. <clears throat> and I think for social disturbance, we need air, don't we? <laughs> and here it says, the audience is your instrument. And I never think of the audience as my instrument. I think as, of my audience as my collaborator, and that we have a social contract that is um, reciprocal. So I never think of the audience as a thing. Or it's not about you. That was it's not about <laughs> you. It's not about you. It's all about us. It's not it's about, about you. Since you can't sing, <laughs> and it seems that you can sing, mm. so that make us sing easily. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an enabler. An, an, an enabler. Do you feel happy? I witnessed someone ask that question once. And his response was, happy is a dwarf in a children's movie. <laughs> oh, wow. That's sad. You seem to be very satisfied about yourself. I can hear you. You seem to be very satisfied. You seem to enjoy. I enjoy myself, yes. I think that's very important. Don't you think it's important to enjoy yourself? 
It's not about you. <laughs> <laughs> And for instance, in this page, it seems to um, criticize narcissism, but we wouldn't understand ourselves without some kind of narcissistic structure, correct? Narcissism is important for understanding yourself as a subject. Performance. I would prefer, prefer to say it's a performance. So. Part of the performance. Performative act. Somebody please be so kind to turn the light on. Can you speak up a little louder? Would someone be so kind to turn the light off, please? What do you think is happening here? Good question. It will be equal to it. <laughs> How do you feel now? What do you think? I'm wondering if I'm gonna turn the light off myself, actually. How do I feel about that? Hmm. That is a good question. I felt better with the other light on. That's definitely for sure. Except from the lights? Except from the lights. They're pretty defining for my emotional state. Um, yeah, I'm curious, basically. I'm curious to um, see what's happening. You know what? You have been here another time mm -hmm. when only women were here and you talked a lot more than today that only men talk. Have only the men talked? Really? Yeah. No. Most of the time. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. And the other day yeah, that, we had, that we had that we had I she am talks. Yeah. Most yeah. of the time my men talked today, so I am wondering why you talked a lot more when only women were part of the audience. It had more to do with the second time, <laughs> to be honest. I came the second time to be um, more passive, basically. Um, so you think you have, you have um, had this decision earlier? It has nothing to do with men know. saying their opinion here? I don't know. Um, it's a good question, though. So it is your second time. I I'm caught. <laughs> yes, but it was a much smaller group. So this, who, this is much more fun. Who will do it again here? Yeah. Who will come back? Who is going to come back? Oh, but we haven't, sure we haven't even finished. <laughs> I might come back on Sunday. Yeah? Yeah, I might come back next Sunday. Cool. Maybe we could all come back. <laughs> I have the same group.
δεν έχουμε τρία. Δεν το έκανα εγώ αυτό βέβαια. Μόνο του. Είναι ένα πρόβλημα. Είναι ένα πρόβλημα. Είναι ένα πρόβλημα. Είναι ένα πρόβλημα. Είναι
between uh, having the power or people trying to have the power and these power dynamics were very uh, tense. Uh, I found really interesting the fact that uh, from the very beginning people realized somehow that there was an intention from our side to um, in a way to control or to direct their actions and there was a moment that people felt very relaxed I guess or at least they were pretending to be but then uh, the thing with the door when these people were so angry it was very very apparent that while before the door was locked, or before people realized the door was locked, there was a group forming here, and then the two people that really wanted to go, or the people that got really angry, started banging on the door, but as even they said, so nobody tried to help them somehow. There was not any collective uh, action. It was just people banging on the door, and. Uh, unplugging all of our electric machines, our internet went, went down, um, but still, the door is still locked, some people is going through this door, but yeah. I was expecting that after this angry moment, people would start to considering that they would have to form some kind of collective in order to escape from this situation. But it was, uh, I guess it was easier for them to be relaxed and to put music and to not pay any attention to what they are doing. Why do you think that? Mm -hmm. That doesn't lead to collectivization, It's like it is, more, it is easier for people to pretend that everything is okay and maybe to waste their time than to do something to uh, overthrow a situation. You think it's more easy to, uh, to, to do what you say than to try to not give uh, more violence when you have a, you know, violence around you, not to push all the group to get inside the violence and everything and to try uh, to balance things. I don't think so. I think your interpretation is very interesting about what happened, but I think maybe many people made an effort to support what was happening and not to get into it and to try to keep the good uh, atmosphere between the people. This, this thing? People, they understood just from the beginning that uh, we asked them, are you free? They said, no, we're not free. Uh, and then when they learned that they are, when they realized that they are locked inside, they actually tried to, to get out. And after that moment, they tried to get out. And the thing is that their truth didn't become a collective thing. Like, it was like your, their truth didn't affect anyone. Yeah, the people here. It did affect, but we, we still have a reaction, but we don't want their reaction to become a group reaction. And Actually, today it went a little bit too aggressive from the start, and so after that, people were not uh, very open to participate and to yeah, become a part of what is going on here. Um, we I think we see it a lot with aggressive starts 
but after that it was a little bit difficult to uh, gain the trust again but many things happened that were uh, interesting for example um, I once again noticed that well-educated, white, privileged men take over the situation very easily and they tend to speak very more, they have more confidence than all the other people but apart from that it is very, very interesting how people tend to get crazy when the door is locked even if they have to be in this room just for a quarter just because the door is locked, they get completely uh, hysteric, I mean, they get crazy. And yeah, nobody tried to, to help. And they did not ask from help for, from, the, from the group. They started by themselves to uh, shout at the guard or uh, play with the plugs and the, um, all the devices and they did not even think about saying, okay, show us some solidarity, help us to get out, I don't know, let's vote, what has to happen, anything. They didn't have even the idea of the group uh, from the time they decided to go. But why should they? Why should they? There is no real danger in the situation. Yeah. The, the most danger you can get here is that you have to wait another 20 minutes. Why should any bit of you form an opposition? <laughs> what do you know about it? Maybe you yeah. looked at it forever. Maybe <laughs> they had to feel that they could be here. Yeah, but you know, if, if somebody really has the feeling that he or she is locked forever, she would react, he or she would react in that other way. Because the situation is so artificial and you can so easily recognize what's happening because you closed the door and it was so obvious what would be happening. So and at, at least in my little position he was very aware of what's happening and I guess most of you were very aware of what's happening because it was so openly displayed that you closed the door and you could look so easily to what is going to be happening. Maybe he wasn't that comfortable with the idea of being locked but that we can be even for a few moments. Yeah, but it's a very artificial um, situation. Yeah, how, how Even if it's artificial, it would be referring to something. something. Hmm? How could we make it more real? Sorry? If this, if this feels like a really in artificial situation, how could we make it more real? So you why just, why, why would you do that? Why? <laughs> because what? you said. You no, no, it is a little bit quite interesting because the question the artificialness of the situation. So I thought maybe you'd be interested if it'd be more real. Am I wrong? So there's again this, this uh, conversation about what is real and what is not real within a performance space. As if outside is real life and here is a performance so nothing bad had happened. As if pain is not real inside this room, or doors cannot be closed inside this room just because it is art. Yeah, I'm agree with this because I had the feeling that the fact that they were, they realized they were locked, even for reality or for the moment of its own, that we could come and maybe because it's very many other that they don't want to access, even if it's for the exercise of the but that's their own race. They didn't understand the way that was real. It's their own, they did their own race. Because they didn't realize it at the first time. So when you don't realize something at the first part, then it's your own. Uh, are your own responsibility to take the risks. Um, no, that's exactly what you say. And um, if it's true what you said, I would, I would feel guilty because I didn't help them. Um, from my point of view, the risk was very, very small for them and for us, of course. Um, 
it just because if you if you see this door with one, uh, I don't know what it's in one, if you could open it probably, but at least we could do this together. So um and I wish you last week you could do that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, in order for a situation to change recently, otherwise there's no way. Mm -hmm. Thank you.